amen, amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Bible study here at Psalm 91. What? Ministries. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Amen, amen, amen. That's Amen. right. That's right. <laughs> well, we want to praise God for just another another uh, another day, another Wednesday, um, that we can Amen. just come together, learn of Him, learn of His Word. Right? As believers, that's part of our responsibility is to learn His Word. So, yes. um, another responsibility we have as believers is to share His Word. <laughs> so, what I'm doing right now is I am sharing this Word. I'm sharing the live. Amen. And it's so simple. You just go to the share button, click share. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. And um, you know, let let some other folks. Um, we want we want uh, as many people as possible to be able to give their life to the Lord and to to learn of God and to learn of His ways. Amen. So um, let's just share the word. Amen. Amen. Um, well, praise God. Let's just have a word of prayer, First Lady. Um, so, uh, First Lady, if you could just lead us in our time in our prayer. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day to come and dive into your word. Yes, God. God, we ask that you cultivate our hearts. Let it be good ground. Help us to make it good ground, Father, so that you can plant the seeds in our hearts that it may grow and yield to you fruit. Yes. God, we want to be those vessels that you use. So, Father, as we take this time out to go into your word, we ask that you reveal yourself to us. Help us help us to understand better the ways in which we can be obedient to you. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name. Amen. 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 We just want to sing a song of praise. Hallelujah. Um, <clears throat> we sing praises to your name. Hmm. Oh Lord, praises to your name. O oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. We sing praises to your name. O oh Lord, praises to your name. O oh Lord, for your name. Praise the Lord. We give God praise, glory, and honor for what he's doing, uh, for what he has done, Amen. for what he is doing, and for what he will do. Yes. Even though we know yes. that our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, That's but right. he is making all things new. Remember he yes. said, I'm making yes. all things new. Yes. Uh, yes. Behold, I do a new thing. Yes. Right? Yes. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are becoming new. Yes. And, um, so that's why we come together. We, we, we listen. We want to be. We want to have a renewed mind. Renewed yes. mind. Okay. So for those that are new to the live, um, I have with me um, Minister Faith, yes. Minister <laughs> Faith uh, Matthews, and uh, myself. I am Pastor John, aka Pastor J, um, founding pastor here at Psalm Ninety One Ministries. And of course, my rib is over there. <laughs> Amen, First Lady um, Kim or Lady K. And so, um, you know, we want to welcome everyone on live. We want to welcome everyone in the building. Give, give a hand clap. Over there in the building. Amen. Um, we give God praise, glory, and honor. So we are uh, we are coming back. I think we, we didn't have Bible study last week, right? right? Because we were preparing for the spiritual gifts workshop. And yes. um, a minister, would you like to share anything from that experience? Uh, I thought it was a powerful time. Yes. Uh, we, we, it was a very thorough teaching. Yes. I believe. It yes. wasn't just come and get prayed for. It, it, which is still fine, but we learned to be responsible with the gifts of God, yes. with the Holy, uh, the gifts from the Holy Spirit. And so I thought that was very important. It's vital to 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 see them as tools. Yes. But yes. that means that you have to be responsible with those tools. What do you do with them once you get them, once you mm -hmm. receive them? Yeah. And so uh, I think that uh, Prophetess Demita actually did a very good job, a great job um, of explaining, you, you know, how 
how to, to go forth now that you receive yeah. these, these gifts. Amen. 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 And we want to welcome, I uh, see Elder Arate that's just watching. Yes. She just praised the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you, um, we put on it. Yes. Um, as far as the spiritual gifts workshop, I would like to just share or just remind folks that those prayer journals, Amen. please utilize them. Please take the time. One of one of the things that Prophet Demita wanted us to do was to take five consecutive days. That's right. Mm, five consecutive days. Yes. Writing down, designating time to spend with the Lord, and writing down what we believe we heard Amen. during Amen. that time. That's right. And Amen. it was a time of getting to know yourself as well as the God you serve. Amen. And distinguishing between the two. Amen. That's right. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that you know we're gonna and we're gonna reiterate this on Sunday um, that that she communicated with me, uh, with my wife and I. I'm sorry, was that the importance of taking those journals, those those prayer journals, right, and um, being able to to just rest in God, to yes. bathe in God, to yes. bask in God, mm -hmm. yes. taking time alone to just rest in God. And to you, you can pray, but after you talk, listen. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. So it's, it, it may feel odd, right? You know how you're in the car sometimes, and you just feel like, I, all right, I'm not doing anything. Let me call somebody, or mm -hmm. uh, I'm not doing anything. Let me turn some music on. Yeah. yeah. There are times. Listen. Begin to turn the radio off. Uh huh. Begin to turn the put the phone down. Yes. And just listen for the voice of God. And uh, you know, I was taking a trip, and we're going to get into this word, but I was taking a trip. I, or I was taking a drive. It was about a, about an hour and a half drive. Mm -hmm. And normally, I, you know, to pass the time, I play music. And the Lord just reminded me, turn the radio off and listen to me. Oh. And it's so important. Yes. And so that's what she reminds us to do. Yes. And so we're encouraging those that um, um, took, took part in the Spiritual Gifts Workshop to yes. remember to, um, to use those journals. Yes. Right? And listen. Even no matter what it is, whatever it is, as you after you've prayed and you've you've you know you've honored God, you've given Him glory, you've given Him praise, you know, just thanking Him for being who He is. Just begin to listen, yeah. and whatever God reveals to you, whatever whatever comes to your mind, just write it down. Write it. Yes. Just write it down. Yes. Right. And what will happen is the more and more you do that, the more and more you'll begin to ex be able to distinguish whether yes. it's your voice or God's voice. Yes. Right? Amen. Yes. Well, Amen. And so, um, um, so again, we're really excited about that, and uh, we're excited tonight about this teaching. Amen. Amen. Of Amen. course, my Bible on the app decides it does not want to work today. Praise the Lord. Technology. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's do this. All right. So we are in um, the Book of Acts. Yes, and um, yes. the last time we were, uh, we came together. We were uh, now we took a pause from the Book of Acts to um, to answer a question um, regarding the um, uh, regarding the subject, the oh. question of about the dinosaurs. dinosaurs we yes. did a study on that one. It was a pretty cool study. Um, but but we're back in the Book of Acts. And the last time we were in the Book of Acts, we had discussed Acts chapter four. And um, some of the context, do you remember? Does anyone remember what we discussed in Acts chapter 4? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, praise, the Lord. Praise, the Lord. praise the Lord. Uh, so, I can, I will, can, can I speak? Sure, on? absolutely. So, one of the things that took place in Acts chapter 4 was, uh, this is after Peter uh, prayed for the, the lame man. And he was healed. And now, and then all of a sudden, of course, because of that healing, a lot of people got saved. They were delivered. And the Holy Spirit fell. And then what took place was the Pharisees, they heard of it because it was growing. And it multiplied. So they began to take them in. They took them in. They questioned them. They beat them. And they told them, do not preach this Jesus anymore. Uh -huh. And then they released uh -huh. them. Amen. That's that's a very thorough. But you forgot one thing. There's one part. I'll, I'm leaving Peter, Peter and John. Peter and Don't John. forget my man John. I, <laughs> Peter and John, I so. knew you wouldn't forget that one. <laughs> yes, uh, they healed the man at the um yes. the, at the gate called um, Beautiful, 
right? The lame man, remember he says, uh, silver, silver and gold, gold have I yes. none, yes. such yes. as I have give I unto thee, right? Yes. Amen. Yes. And um, as a result, because everybody is now coming to Jesus because the gifts were in operation. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. Again, we again we just talked about how we we had a session dealing with the gifts of the spirit and how important and essential the gifts of the spirit are to believers. Yes. It's really important to believers that we we know about the gifts mm -hmm. and that we are seeking to flow in the gifts. That's right. Yes. Not for our own selves or so we can say, hey, I can prophesy. That's right. But so that we can edify and build up God's church. Yes. 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 And it's important to also note that the gifts of the Spirit are not for are not for only for one person. Yes. It's not just for the pastor of the church. That's right. Yeah. That's right? right. The gifts of the Spirit are designed for the body of Christ. Yes. yes. To so that we can more effectively bring souls to the kingdom of Christ. That's right. That's yes. right. Amen. 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 Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna jump. Um, we're gonna go back. Uh, this is the point in chapter 4. We're going to go into chapter 5, but this is the point in chapter 4, just for a brief review, to because this really is going to as lead we, in. this is going to lead into what happens in chapter 5. And so um, <clears throat> uh, so they've been, as Minister Faith shared, they have been beaten, I mean, they've been arrested, they've been warned, do not preach the name of Jesus. Right? And it's funny, you can talk about anybody, any other religion, you can yeah, say, yeah, but when it comes to the name of Jesus, right. everybody has a problem, yes, right? And yes. it was back then, and it's today, and even more so today. We're going to talk about that, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. So if, if someone could take for us um, the first three verses in Acts chapter 4, we're starting in on verse 32. And for those that are watching via the live, we are reading the new King James Version. Yes. Amen. Yeah, the first three. Yep. Right, first three. Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed had his own, but they had all things in common. And with great power the the apostles gave witnesses gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Mm. Now there, keep, keep on. Now there, now was there anyone among them who lacked? For all who were possessors of land or houses sold them, and bought the proceeds of the things that were sold, and laid them at the apostles' feet, and they distributed to each as anyone had needed. Amen. Amen. Need. Amen. Amen. So. Uh, can somebody give back to me what she just read? I want we want to test our our ability to retain. Okay, just to give summarize. They were in one accord. Go ahead, say they, it. They were in one accord. Amen. Amen. In, in one in accord. Unity, one accord. Does Does anything about what um, what Mama just read stand out to you? Does anything stand out? Them selling their houses. <laughs> they were selling their houses. The church. The proceeds to the church. Amen. Now, it's really, really important. Now, remember, what do we say? This is a dialogue. dialogue not, not a monologue. Go ahead, Rhonda. <laughs> Why? Because we want you to talk back to us. So if you're if you're here, you can ask questions. If you're in the chat, just type your chat um, questions in the chat. Or your yes. thoughts or statements. Uh, right? Yes. Amen. All right. Now notice what they did. It says they, they sold, people were in such a, one accord that they began to sell like their, their extra homes. They weren't selling the homes that they lived in, but like if they owned two and three properties, they would sell that home, right? And then they would donate the proceeds mm -hmm. to the church. But here's the key, verse 35. They laid them at the apostles' feet, and they did what? Distributed. To who? Each. Did it go? Did, did all of the proceeds go? And listen, I'm just going to say it. Did all the proceeds go to the pastor or the prophet? No. 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 When they were in one accord, and now remember, the book of Acts is how the church was established. Yes. So yes. this really sets the foundation for how we should operate Things for the most part, there are going to be some things I'm going to talk about um, that where that has led to some debate. Okay? Yes, yes. <clears throat> and we're, we're going to discuss that.
But they 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 gave to the church, and the church gave to pe to the people. Yes. yes. It wasn't all about everything about the church. Right. Yeah. It, hoarding everything. It wasn't That's about important. hoarding everything. Thank you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, does any uh, and and again, I'm not I'm not bashing the church. Right. Right. But we as the church have to re go back to our first love. Yes. 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 Remember? Isn't yes. that isn't that right? Isn't that what John Jesus tells John in the book of Revelations? He says to the to the one church. He says, you've forgotten your first love, mm -hmm. how you started That's the relationship. Right. Yes. That's right. Yes. How did they start the relationship? The relationship started with people giving to the church and the church giving back to, to the, people. the people or the community. Right. So if a church is in a community, but that community is not impacted by that church, then there needs to be a, a reassessment. We need to go back in the church and fix some things that are broken. Yes. Okay? Yes. Because the church should be a, a, a microcosm, uh -huh. should represent a microcosm of the kingdom of God. Yes. yes. Right? So if the king, wherever the kingdom of God goes, it's, it gets beautiful. So our community, sh you know, like, think about us as believers. Yes. You walk outside your church, and your church looks like a palace, but outside it looks like like the war zone. Yes. Well, let's start taking some of that 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 we're doing on the inside of the building and and delivering to the outside, mm -hmm. right? We want to make a difference. This was happening, like in my lifetime, I've never seen this. <laughs> I've never seen it. Okay, but we we can strive to get back to our first love, yes. right? Um, yes. And you know, um, when you think about giving back to the community, and some churches may say, well, we don't have a lot. We don't have it. Mm -hmm. But I believe that when you're doing, God is saying, um, he, will, he will give the increase. He will, That's he right. will That's make right. it possible so that your needs and things will be met. Yes. 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 Listen, yes. I, I can't tell how many times, you know, we've done... You know, and, and again, we are not the standard, right? right. But I'm just giving giving testimony that, that that exactly what you're saying it works, right? Yes. But there have been many times um, as as a, as a small min early ministry, yes. right? That we said, hey, listen, you know, we wanna, you know, we wanna we wanna make an impact. So we said, hey, let's go out and let's let's bring provide food for the homeless. Yes. Okay. Because the Bible, Jesus says, he says, such as you've done to the least of these, you've done it unto me. Amen. So I'm following his command. Amen. So if I'm following his command, he's got to give me the provision to make it happen. Yes. And there have been times where, like, we set a goal and we said, hey, look, we need to raise X amount of dollars. And we didn't raise X amount of dollars. But I'm going to tell you something that would happen. Come on. Right before we would go in, somebody randomly would yeah. come in with Brand. a big check. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and it has happened every that's single right. time. That's right. Every single time somebody has come in and said, hey, I want to make this. I like what you guys are doing. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And so um, so understand. And again, there, there are other ways in which mm -hmm. to get funding. There are some there are government programs that we can begin to tap into. The church can begin to tap into. But these are ways that we can make impact right where we are. Yes. Right. Like, why? you know, we, we're sending out missions team. To, to other yeah. countries many times. Yeah. But what about our community? Yeah. Let's yes. you know to, you know yes. take care of home first. Yeah. Right? To okay. And, and take sometimes. care of those in those other countries. Because yes. yeah. we're supposed to provide for, for everyone too. Amen? Amen. But um, those are some things that stood out to me. Um, the multitude who believed were of one heart and one soul or one mind. Well I want to point out the verse thirty four when it says that there was none among them that lacked anything. Wow. Right? They didn't lack anything because it was a community, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Everyone was able to give. Yes. When they when they gave up their homes and their lands and stuff like that, and like you said, it was distributed um, to those who were in need. So it wasn't yes. just, hey, let me, and I'm talking about today's term, let's, let's just, let me get a car and go ahead and just because I want a Lambo, or I want this, I want the BMW. No, this family doesn't have a car. Mm -hmm. They have no transportation. So we, we divvy it up to them and stuff like that. You yeah. know, it was a true uh, representation of what a community should look like and what the body of Christ is supposed to, uh, to resemble. Yes. Um, I, I heard, um, uh, I think 
my old pastor um, used to say, he says that it's called a commonwealth. Yes. Where where wealth is common. Yes. Right? Oh. That's right. You know what I mean? Yes. It's called a commonwealth where wealth is common. And that's what the kingdom of God should look like. That's what us representing this, right? If yes. you have it, if, if I got it and you need it, you got it. Yes. yes. Amen? Yeah. Amen. All right. <clears throat> um, verse 36. Can somebody read verse 36 and 37? And Joseph, who was also named Barnabas by the apostles. Okay, so that's going to, this individual is going to come, come back up. Yes. This individual is going to come back up, Barnabas. So what's Barnabas's um, surname? Joseph. Joseph, Joseph. okay. okay. I'm, I'm probably going to quiz y'all next week. Oh, oh, Say again. I it was Jose. I, <laughs> it wasn't Spanish. But, <laughs> but actually, if you look at it, you think it says Jose. We really eat true. All right, go ahead, continue. Okay, and Joseph, who who also who was also named Barnabas by the apostles, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite of the county of Cyprus. Country. A, a Levite of the country of Cyprus, sorry. Having land, sold it, and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Amen. Amen. So again, you know, we see this happen today where people will bring money to the to the preacher's feet. Um, the only thing is that during this time, the preachers were taking it and giving, giving it, it back to the church, right? right? Um, <clears throat> so, all right, Acts chapter 5. All right, somebody take the first three verses for us. But a certain man named um, Ananias with, with Sapphira, 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 that sold a, a possession, mm -hmm. and he kept back part of the proceeds. His wife also, being aware of it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself? Okay, let's pause right there. Um, so we got Ananias and Sapphira, a husband and wife. Now, what we read in chapter th four leads into that because it sets the stage. What's happening in the church is people are selling their extra. Mm -hmm. They have extra. They're saying, hey, you don't need three houses. Mm -hmm. What you need three houses for? You can only live in one at, at a time. So these people were saying, okay, you know what? Let me stop living this life of ex um, ex exuberance, exactly. all right, right? Exactly. Extravagance, Extravagant. right? Hey, listen, your neighbor could use what you have. Right. So this is what happened. They were selling what they had, and then they were giving it to church. The church was able to provide for the people within that church community. Yeah. Okay. Now, what happens is Ananias and Sapphira come up with a scheme. What they're going to do is they're going to sell it. They, they sell the property, mm -hmm. but they didn't give the whole thing mm -hmm. to the church. Now, the problem was not that they didn't give the whole thing to the church. The problem was they lied and said they gave the whole thing to the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. They kept back part of it and said, hey, we sold, our, we sold it and we given everything, everything to the church. Right. So the Apostle Peter, now this is called the gift. This particular gift is called a word of knowledge, right? Or it, some would um, deem this as part of prophecy, right? A word of, a word of knowledge, right? where God would deposit a word, right, mm -hmm. that only God could have known. Right. Yes. Right. And many of us have had that happen. Yes. Has anybody had an experience where somebody gave them a word where the only way it could have been, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, Amen. So we saw that instance with Jesus and the woman at the well. Remember the woman at the well, right. she's talking to Jesus, and he says, go get your husband. Mm -hmm. And she says to him, um, I don't have a husband. And, he, and then he, he goes re right in her bag and says, yeah, yeah, you're right, you don't have a husband. Because the one, uh, he said, you've, had, one you you've had five husbands and the guy you with now is not your husband. Amen? Mm -hmm. So that's called a word of knowledge where you, God, the Holy Spirit, reveals to you some information that only God could have revealed to you, right, mm -hmm. to bring conviction to that situation. Yes. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Uh, somebody take verse 4, 5, and 6. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I did want to say, notice that this is a continue. What We already know that uh, chapter 4, how it ended, right? Mm -hmm. It was talking about 
uh, Joseph's. And it's almost as if it's the same account, mm. right? It's, it's because it's, as Joseph, that's what it's like, that's why they even brought him up. Barnabas doing that service of giving of his property, he, what he sold, he gave all of it to them. And then it says in chapter five, but a certain man named Ananias, mm-hmm. right? And it goes that's into the contrast, yes. right? That's yes. what the purpose mm-hmm. of bringing up uh, and, uh, Barnabas, that was the, the purpose of bringing him up because he did it with a genuine heart when yes. he was being authentic, mm-hmm. yes. right? Ananias, however, pretty much, it, at least it would suggest that Ananias saw that uh-huh. mm-hmm. and wanted to look like that, yes. right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm Without, giving all yeah. like he is giving oh, go all. Go ahead, go ahead, minister. Right? <laughs> minister, trying to minister it up. Go ahead. <laughs> No, but that I think that's that's part of that's good. Um, that's interesting to see how it transitioned to the next chapter because yes. we intend to separate things. But yes. this sounds like it's the same flow, yeah. Right, <laughs> because it says, "But this a certain man." Yeah. So again, that is the motive. That could be the motive behind why Ananias and Sapphira chose to actually pretend. To, to to look the part. Yeah. Because hey, you can't be shown up by this guy, right? Uh-huh. And and you know how it is in church. A lot of times somebody would do something and then somebody feels like they got they can they gotta match it or they gotta top it. Right. Yeah. Right? And so uh that's a good point. I I, I never even looked at it that way, and that's mm-hmm. a good point. Mm-hmm. Um but that's that's what's happening, right? That's what's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they see they see, oh brother, brother, brother Barnabas. Right. You see what Barnabas did? And there's always somebody who wants to, oh, yeah, yeah, but 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 this is what I did. Yeah, yeah. Right? And so we see this happening in the church. Now, this is right after it says they were of one accord. Now we really see the first division in right, the church. Right, exactly. Ah. Exactly. And, and we are seeing in chapter 5 the first instance, the recorded instance of right. real division in the church. In chapter 1, we see they was in one accord. Chapter 2, they see they was in one accord. Chapter 2, what happens? The Spirit of God falls. Chapter 3, they are in one accord. What happens? Peter and John um, lay hands on the sick and they recover. Chapter uh, 4, Peter and John are preaching. They are on one accord and people are coming to Christ. Christ. Now, chapter 5, we see we see division in the ranks. Right, right. All right. And Peter says something that is so, some people would see this as really harsh. Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? Mm-hmm. Somebody tell me what you think that means. Go for it. I, I think it means like, like Ananias really didn't have to lie about it. Like it was just his property, mm-hmm. you know. And like he didn't like there wasn't any pressure telling him that he had to give it. It wasn't even a big deal if he had, like, if he just gave some, right. you know, he would just, you know, but like, and especially because after, because like this whole thing was because of the Holy Spirit, like falling on people, you know, um, I feel like, um, you know, the Holy Spirit was like, that's so kind of wrong because he was like, he was like, you know, well, this was like because of me and you're going to lie about yeah. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. You know, I was thinking the same thing that she was thinking. Like it wasn't said that you had to give the whole thing. That's correct. Right. But you, correct. you said this is what you're going to do mm-hmm. and then lie about it. There you yes. go. That's right. There you there you didn't go. have That's to right. do that. And, and, and also, just to take note, that the Holy Spirit, specifically calling out the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. I right. noticed he didn't, he didn't say Jesus. Right, uh-huh. he said yep. the Holy Spirit. One showing that the Holy Spirit is His own, you know, is, is active is, is in the church. Active, is active in the church. But yeah. The Holy Spirit is the Bible says. I believe it's in Corinthians, First Corinthians. But the Bible talks about how the Holy Spirit is the one that gives the gifts. It's the one that distributes the spiritual gifts. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So, like Gabriella just said, they're here because of the giving or that distribution of the gifts Mm -hmm. all of these things that is causing that's causing these people to want to give and do all these things is because the holy spirit fell Mm -hmm. the holy spirit gave this and this one's healed this one spoke in tongues blah 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 right on and on and now someone is going to gift 
the body of Christ mm -hmm. and lie about it. Yeah. You know, lie yeah. about what they're giving. Yes. Now, um, think that's a great point. Thank you. Um, so, so I, I, I want you to remember that to the tone yes. of what Peter says. Mm -hmm. He says, "Why has Satan filled your heart to lie to whom? The Holy, Holy Spirit." Spirit. Yes. I'm gonna come back to you. Okay? Can we read the next few verses first? I'm, hold on. I'm gonna get you the next um, four, three verses. Verse four through six. Okay. While it remained, was it not your own? And after it was sold, was it not in your own control? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to God. Okay, he didn't. He said, you didn't lie to the apostles. Right. You didn't lie to Peter. Come on. You didn't yes. lie to the pastor. Yes. You didn't lie to the deacons. Uh -huh. You didn't lie to the ushers. Mm -hmm. He says, when you lie, especially on, on in things uh, that matter to God, uh -huh. You are lying to his spirit. Yes, yes. Mm. Things that are that involve God in his house, he said, when you lie, he said, when you conceive this idea, you have lied to the Holy Spirit. Yes. All right, continue. Verse 5. Then Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and breathed his last. So great fear came upon all those who heard these things. And the young men arose and wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him. Who would be afraid? Who would, would great fear come upon you if that happened? You know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Go ahead, Alana. You had a question or thought? Like earlier, what was the question? Okay. So um, the earlier question was, what was the question? Well, I think Why? the last question. Why was it uh, referring to the Holy Holy Spirit or right. the tone was being so, sounding or appearing harsh? But why was it like that? Why did he say it was towards the Holy Spirit? I I think it was because like he been lying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he been lying a lot, so that been to him to going to God. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. You go. You go, Lana Bear. <laughs> Amen. Right? Um, when the, the thing is, there was a lie that preceded that lie when he dropped the money off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So if you think about what she said, she said he's been lying a lot. You know, a person, the problem with lying is yeah. that you have to lie Continue. in order to cover yeah. lies. Yes. yes. When you start lying. That's yes. right. Right? That's, that, right? that's the problem with lying. Right? You know, and, and the thing is, you think it's just, you think it's just going to be this one lie, and then somebody's going to confront you about that lie. And in order to keep, to, to, so that they don't find out that you, or they, they don't flag you as a liar, right. you have to lie again. Really, it's a self fulfilling okay. prophecy, becoming a liar, <laughs> because yes. now you have to keep lying to cover up the lies. Right. Yeah. So she, so you know, you're absolutely right. Because when when he talked to his wife, think about this. He said that they agreed together. Right. We're going to hold back some of this, but we're going to say mm -hmm. right, that it was all. It shows a level of intentionality yes. to what they did. Right. Yes. So while Peter says this, he said, you didn't lie to me. You didn't lie to people. You lied to God. He drops dead. Yeah. Yeah. After hearing these words, he dropped dead. Mm -hmm. Somebody take verse 7, 8, 9. Mm -hmm. now, it was, mm -hmm. now it was about three hours later when his wife came in. What had happened, and Peter answered her, "Tell me whatever you sold the land for for so much." Okay, pause right here. Now it's three hours has passed, and I'm gonna tell you why she hasn't found out. Cause you know how people are, <laughs> so, especially something like this go down. People acting like they don't know you, they ain't gonna say nothing <laughs> to you. They gonna let you find out on your own. That's right. Right. So it's three hours has passed, and nobody has told her. That her husband dropped dead for lying to God. Right. So she walks in the room. Continue. And Peter answered her, Tell me whether you have you sold the land for so much. She said, Yes, for so much. Then Peter said to her, How is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? 
Look, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. Mm -hmm. Then immediately she de she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. Her last, and the, a young man came in and found her dead and carried carrying her out, buried her by her husband. Mm -hmm. So great fear came upon all the church and upon all who hear, heard these things. Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, you can turn that mic off because it's, it's, we're giving some issues. Um, just talk loud. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, let's chat. I got a couple questions up here. Why would the Holy Spirit take the life of this couple? Mm. Go. Um, because... For because first of all, this couple literally planned out what they were going to do <laughs> in order to lie to the apostles. Now it would be one thing if it was just a regular person, but doing it to someone who has close connection with God, who can literally kill you, is just crazy. And because like, I mean, why would you even do that in the first place? Like you literally could have just saved some money it wouldn't even be a big deal. At least you gave. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what was the point of that? They were just, they th they thought they ate, but they left crumbs. Like, that's all I got to Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's just like tithing. Well, come on. If, you, if you're going to, if you have made the agreement to tithe, that's just like you said, oh, well, I can't do it. But I'm only going to give half. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and then lie so you gave it all. Yeah. Right, right. That, that's, that, you know. And, and and also to consider the and fact you know, that being dropped dead oh, uh, like no, you, you can understand what she is. Yeah, look she is. I ain't lying that's just the, look <laughs> repentance is happening I don't care <laughs> look I ain't playing I'm that's not right. playing that's right go ahead go ahead you were saying something um <laughs> it's all right um, <laughs> oh oh no no I remember I remember um so it's it's also when you said, "All right, why would the Holy Spirit take their their, their life?" Like, remember what the previous chapters were saying about how people were giving everything. So when you go ahead and you take away and say, "Okay, I'm a plan, pre-plan this out, not to give all of it," okay, that means one, you don't see that see the recipients as worthy of of all, mm -hmm. okay. So you don't think highly of the apostles nor of the community, you know, your brethren. So that means they were all giving of their possessions to help one another. Uh -huh. So you decide, they decided, we're going, we're already in a good place and people are giving unto us as we need to. We're mm. not going to give that back. Mm. We're not going to do the same. Under, we're not treating them the way we are being treated, right? Mm -hmm. So now it goes beyond just you and people because you withheld not only from God, you with you with help from people and from God, but yeah. you can't get away with withholding from God. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's really good, Mom. Nice and loud. Hey. Go ahead, speak loud. Um, because they kept lying. So first of all, he started lying, but the wife. He's supposed to tell people. <laughs> because he was disrespectful to the Lord. So 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 they both um, so they both are very disrespectful to the Lord. But one of the major points here is that they were doing it for show. Yes. Right. That's the big They were yes. doing it to get recognition yes. from men. Yes. And they wanted recognition from men and could care less really about how it looked to God. Yes. Yes. And see, yes. when we get caught up in how things look to people Appearance. versus how it looks to God. Yes, that's right. right? And, and all of us, I think, uh, can admit to being can tempted yes. to, 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 to um, you know, wanting to feel appreciated by people or wanting mm -hmm. to be valued by people. But at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is does is will God say well done? Right. Yes. Right. right? Yes. You had a question? No, it wasn't a question. It was just basically a comment to what you were saying. Because you know, like because we can see people's reactions and we can see people's emotions right now. We only see like we only see what our eyes see, but we don't really feel or like 
I actually think about what God is actually saying. You know, like if we, you know, do drugs or smoke or vape, we're only thinking about, oh, this is going to make me cool in the eyes of the people. But mm-hmm. does it make you look cool in the eyes of God? Right. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead. Full, full of glory right there. It's a glory <laughs> container. <Just saying>. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. So what can we learn about the Holy Spirit from this account? Don't lie to him. <laughs> He's not <laughs> one to be messed with. Of all to lie to. Yeah. And, and, hold on, hold on. And, go ahead. What? Uh, go ahead. Uh, that he has emotions and he can, he can mm. be offended. That's Ooh. right. Okay. That's right. Okay. And okay. he is also to be reverenced. He's to yes. be feared. That's yes. right. right. Because uh, up to this point, I believe, they have just received all these good things That's right. from the Holy Spirit, right? They have, this is the moment where they realize, oh, there's a line. You can't cross this line. You can't get away with, you know, uh, with with lying and trying to be deceptive and ripping off the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. So uh, one, one of the things I wanted to um, add here is that, <clears throat> keep it in mind, uh, and, and you touched on it, is that even though we have, the, we are under the, what's called the dispensation of grace, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then. We're no longer under the the Levitical law. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Now, <clears throat> there's a difference between the commandments and the law. Uh-huh. All right. And one of these, maybe we'll very shortly do a teaching on the law and, and grace and what it means for us as the New Testament church. Uh-huh. Okay. So need to hear that. Amen. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> um, one of the things that this this account teaches us is that when the Bible says God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, the same way, listen, people could have looked at that as being unfair. You mean, they dropped dead for that? Mm-hmm. Well, the same thing happened. Remember when the, 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 the young man tried to, when they carried the Ark of the Covenant yes. in on a, on a cart. They weren't supposed to carry it on a cart. And it fell, and the young man tried to catch it. Yeah. So God reminds us that even though you're under grace, yes. that does not mean you can take advantage of oh, grace. Right. Right. That right. doesn't mean you are allowed to do whatever you want to Ooh, do. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And so that there is still a law, right, mm-hmm. yes. within us that God has said, Hey, these things are wrong. Like it listen, cause because we're under grace doesn't mean that we have we can we can now lie. Mm-hmm. Think about that. Right. You know, sometimes people teach, oh, we're under grace, we're under grace, we're under grace. And and we gotta be very careful by not explaining the full Correct. context of the, the scriptures, right? Correct. Correct. Right? Th- th- can you murder because you're under grace? No. 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 The, you know, this is what about pet peeves. Homosexuality. And Come I was on. just talking to my granddaughter about that. Their generation is so in there. Oh, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's, I said, it's not okay. Mm-hmm. And we are under the disposition. We are under grace. Mm-hmm. However, in the Old Testament, I said he destroyed a whole two cities <laughs> That's because right. of this. So just because now we're on a new, you know, because of Jesus Christ, it's supposed to be okay. It's not okay. Right. So so let's so let's unpack that. Let's unpack that. <clears throat> and and listen, I don't care, and I don't like using that statement, but I really am not worried about who I'm going to offend when I say when I say. Okay. <clears throat> Amen. Um, but my intention is not to offend, mm-hmm. but to free. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and the Bible says. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Freedom only comes with the truth. Yeah. Yes. Right? So, here, here's the thing. So, when we talk about, there are what are called, in, in the Old Testament, can we park here for a second? Sure. sure. So, in the Old Testament, when the Bible refers to the law, that we're no longer under the law, it, it's not referring to the, uh, the moral laws. Mm-hmm. It's referring to what, what is called the... Uh, I mean, remember the word the 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 it's it's referring to the I let I put it in easy terms because I can't remember the term but it's ref, think about the the thou shalt not stand mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the thou shalt go yes 
All right. Mm -hmm. Meaning the things that you did that you to did. make you right with God yes. Yes. are no longer, um, are, we're no longer under that. Meaning you don't have to go and get a cow and sacrifice a cow. Right. That's a do. Right. Right. But the thou shalt not still or thou shalt yeah. not. Right. Yes. Right. Thou shalt not kill. That's still. Mm -hmm. New right. Testament, Old Testament. It's so still. Right. Right. Thou shalt not lie. That's still. New Testament, Old Testament. That's right. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That's still. Mm -hmm. Old Testament, New Testament. Homosexuality. New Testament, Old Testament, it's still considered an abomination. Yes. And we got to remember that there are sins that are classified as abominations. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and, and listen, even though this, this is the, the, the time we're living in, and everybody wants to be offended. Um, right. But I, I want you to understand that um, there, there are certain sins, or what we call sexual sins, mm -hmm. right, that... It does not matter what dispensation of grace you're under; they are still seen as serious sins, mm -hmm. yes. right? And so, and the, when when I when I say serious, I mean it is becomes harder to come out of it. Right. So when we say serious sin, sometimes people say, "Oh, are you saying that one sin is heavier than the other?" That's another conversation we'll have one day, right? But what it means is that there are some sins, like witchcraft, that it is right. harder mm -hmm. to Breaks the strongholds oh, right. of yes, right. sexual sins. Mm -hmm. Listen, sexual sins, even regular, standard, normal right. sexual oh, sins are hard to break. Right. Mm -hmm. If we, if the truth be told, it's hard to break. So then, when you take on what we, what the Bible refers to, would be abnormal uh -huh. mm -hmm. bestiology. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That is still not allowed. Mm -hmm. Right. And. Again, those that want to, um, that, that don't agree with this are those that don't read the Bible. Right. Nor do they want to live according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because if we follow the template of today, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something. Peter would have got canceled. That's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's right. That's right. They'd have blasted him on social media. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mm-hmm. How dare you take that man's life? You're supposed to be a house of, of love. Oh, because you wanted his property. You wanted all the money to yourself. The Holy Spirit. That's right. Oh, it ain't, don't seem like he's too holy to me. Mm -hmm. I thought God was love. Mm -hmm. See, love doesn't mean I let you do whatever yes. you want to do. I'm a doormat. Listen, That's if right. I see my daughter eating, uh, about to take some screws uh -huh. and put it in her mouth, out of love, I'm going to say, Lana, put that down. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But then Lana look at me like, you yelled at me. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm yelling to save you. Right. Yes. Right? Love is not always me smiling at you and ignoring right. Right. The, the, the wrong that you do. Right. right. Mm -hmm. That's why. Y yes. Um, so, um, how do you, like, how do you react? Like, not react, but like, what do you say? When someone is like making a claim about how you know God is love, so love when they say love is love, then it's okay and it's connected to Christianity. So that's a that's an excellent question. Um, hold on, hold on. So that's an excellent question. So, um, so it 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 not it depends. It's all how we define love. Mm -hmm. Right. Today we define love by a feeling. Mm -hmm. But listen, listen to, uh, and this is why it's a dangerous precedent to say love is love. Mm -hmm. The pedophile could say that he's in love with that child. That's right. That's right. And based on that logic, you would have to say, well, if love is love, how dare you judge? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? How dare you judge? Uh, they, look, and there are people. There are people who literally stand on that, on the same thing. There are people who um, are into bestiology. Yeah. And they say, "Well, who's that? You know, who do you think you are to tell that person who they love?" Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So well, love is not defined by um, how you feel. That's right. Right? Love is not defined by how you feel. 
right? It's it's love is defined by what God says love is. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Love is love is kind. Love is patient. Mm -hmm. Love does not puff itself up. Mm -hmm. You know, love love loves the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Right. And so, as believers, we got to stand up in this generation where everybody else is standing down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And to, to that, to your point with that question, also, um, I liken it to a, a parent who has a child uh, who is an addict, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, that addict yes. is hurting themselves, and you yes. know that their addiction is only going to lead them to, to death, yes. okay? Either theirs or someone else's, yes. right? And yes. so now you can say that out of love, when they want something from me, I just give it to him because I love him. He has a want. He has a desire. And I just keep giving because of that desire. But love, real love, is denying him or that child of what that, you know, the problem that they are, you know, that addiction mm -hmm. saying, okay, I'm not going to give you the money because I know you're going to put it to this. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I know, gonna I know you're gonna shoot this. yourself out. Yeah, yeah. So I have to. I have to set up a limit and and stand and say, nope. The help that I will give is helping you, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's whatever is going to save you from this addiction, mm -hmm. right? But today, we say that's not love. That's mean, mm -hmm. and that's you not showing any love or any care and compassion. You're being judgmental. And and we have to be and and, and so again understanding. The Bible says, he that win of souls must be wise, or she that win of souls must be wise, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, we can't approach people, we hate you, I hate right. you. Right. Look, you know, because you this, I hate you because you this. This is not what we're talking about. We're not talking about hate, right, at right. all, in right. any way. And we're not talking homo um, homophobia, because I ain't afraid of nothing that's or nobody, right? right? All right, um, you know, that's a tagline. Right. Yes. Uh, if, if if you are if you are, think about it, somebody who has arachnophobia runs when spiders come. Right. Mm -hmm. if, so yeah. then, if you have homophobia, you would run every time. Every time <laughs> uh, 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 you know, somebody of that um, lifestyle came around you. So it's not a fear. And sometimes people will try to tag you to try to embarrass you to make you feel like to make you feel small. Mm -hmm. They say so. In, so in order to shut the conversation down, they just say, "Oh, he's homophobic." Right, right, right. No, no. Listen, this is what the Bible says. Now I'm gonna tell you something. Nobody challenges Muslims mm -hmm. when it comes Thank to this you. subject. That's right. That's right. This is not even a discussion <laughs> in Islam. It's not even a discussion. Mm -hmm. But it's actually a discussion in the church. Yeah. Because we don't want to follow the Bible. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. We want to get membership more than we want uh, than we want to please mm -hmm. God. God. Yeah. That's, right. That's right. So so listen, um, you know, the God says in his word, he says, let he said, let God be true and, and every, every man, man a liar. That's right. Every That's man right. a liar. So um Alana, um, I wanna, I wanna, that was that was actually. Listen, we're not gonna hide from any subject, mm -hmm. I, and I'm telling you that we're not hiding from any subjects. Mm -hmm. Alana, you had something you wanted to share? All right, briefly, because we gotta um, continue. Go ahead. Well, when you're when you're with Christ. And like you're doing something that's wrong that God doesn't like, you're out of Christ. Mm. So, 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 meaning you're 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 stepping outside of what He wills for your life, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, um, you know, and so it's just very important for us to listen to His Spirit, read His Word, so we know what He likes and what He doesn't like. Okay, yes. right. um, and it's not so easy. I mean, like God doesn't just let you go because you make a mistake, right? right? right. He right. says, you know, uh, uh, he says, uh, um, we fall. Like he said, seven. he said, he said, he said, look, a righteous man can fall seven times, but he keeps getting back That's up. Right. Yeah. The, the, the the difference is this, right? The difference is this. You know, like somebody says, they come in and they say, look, this, I, this is who I am. Well, as the church, you say, listen, you know, come as you are, but that is not his desire that you stay that way. Right. Correct. Right. Right. I can Correct. come in here a drug dealer. 
Should I be staying a drug dealer? Right. Yeah. After walking yeah. with Christ? Right, right. Yes. Shouldn't that sometimes, after sometimes, shouldn't that fall off of my to-do list? That's right, yeah. that's right. Right? That's right. Okay. Uh, let's read. Uh, it's just like a prostitute. If, yeah. Yes, right. Prostitute. Yes. That don't mean you may slowly. There may be a progression. It, it may be a right. thing where you, somewhere down the line, you're convicted that mm -hmm. you're not going to continue doing this, this type of thing. That's right. Yes. You know, if, if God, he wants to come in. And listen, he wants us to come in as we are, but he comes in and he cleans us up from the inside out. Mm -hmm. And that's why it begins from the heart. Your heart has to get convicted. And that's why he says, don't harden your heart. Because if I harden my heart and say, hey, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And we know of people who have come been in different lifestyles, whether it's prostitution, whether it's uh, you know any of the things that we just talked about. Right. They have come out of these lifestyles. People don't want to tell you that they've come out of these lifestyles, yes. but they have, and it is yeah. possible. Okay? Uh, somebody read verses 12 and 13 for us. Now, the, the, the title of this part is called Continuing Power in the Church. Okay. And through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Yet none of the rest dare join them, but the people esteemed them highly. Okay, we're going to park here for a second. Man, we don't have time. No, here. we don't. Uh, we, we, you know, we can still finish the point. Amen. Um, well, I do want to read Elder Ray that she had mentioned something earlier. She said, the Holy Spirit judges and convicts of our sins uh, with a judgment um, with holy reverence, obedience must be acknowledged in all of our ways. Right. Um, Pastor Andy says, who, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. Yes. Thank you yes. so much for, um, for that. All right. So, Ananias and Sapphira dropped dead. Church is scared, but they're in one accord. And they're in one accord because people drop dead. Right. The power of God is active, and that that's why we say the gifts of God and the move of the Holy Spirit brings can can be can be used as a tool to bring believers together. Right. But notice what it says in verse 13. Yet none of the rest dare join them, but the people of Stephen Holly. So this right here, I'm gonna have to stand up in order to show. This, okay, for those that are in the building, you'll see uh, this is a building. This is the temple in Jerusalem, yes. right? Or the day. Now, the temple was referred to as Herod's temple. Herod's okay. temple, okay? Because he's the one who was over responsible for the rebuilding of it, so they named it after him. Okay. okay? Now, right here and right here were considered where the Gentiles could come. What so, meaning non Jewish believers in uh, the Jewish. God, right, would assemble here, but they were not allowed in this area, okay? Mm -hmm. Where the apostles were is right here. This was referred to as Solomon's porch. So what was happening is, um, during times where people would come to the temple, they were preaching over here, and on this porch, there was often different people that would be preaching or they would be debating or discussing like philosophers would in ancient Greece, right? Yeah. So they would be debating the scriptures or, and it, it could be in, in one section, it could be the Pharisees debating the Sadducees. Mm -hmm. But this is just happens to be where the apostles were mm -hmm. and they were teaching. But, now we'll go back a little bit. Now they're teaching, but what happens? They're on Solomon's porch in one accord, yet none of the rest dare join them, but the people esteemed them highly. So, listen, there's people who respected them, but they didn't come and join them. Why? Because it's not popular. It's not popular. You got this new message, this new teaching. Yes. Right? They're preaching right close to where the Pharisees, the religious community is. Mm -hmm. And many of us know, like, if you have ever, <laughs> if you have ever left the church situation, right, there, you can have a lot of that go on where people will be afraid to be around you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because they are more of fearful of people than they are of God. Mm -hmm. So this is, 
What's happening? Uh, let's see. Somebody read verse 13 one more time. Got to go back. Yet none of the rest dared join them, but the people esteemed them highly. So, so all of these things are happening, but people were still afraid to be publicly go out there and listen to them. Mm -hmm. Now, read verse 14 and 15. And I want you to, I want to, I'm going to help you make, make this make sense. Mm -hmm. And believers were increasingly added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they brought the sick out into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might fall on some of them. Also, a multitude gathered from the surrounding cities to Jerusalem bringing sick people and those who were tormented by unclean spirits. And they were all healed. All right. Now, and believers were increasingly added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women. This is right after they say, nobody is showing up mm -hmm. at Solomon's porch. Mm -hmm. But in the streets. Mm -hmm. So what's happening? When the church gets out of the church Come on. to become yeah. the church yeah. yes. then people are getting healed. That's wow. Right. Yeah. Beyond the okay. wall. It's like, Beyond. It's like, ain't nobody coming yeah. to the building. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the building to them. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yes. Look what it says. Nobody's coming. So we're going to get out of this these four walls yes. and we're going to take the church to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. what happened in the early church. Nobody says, nobody dared. Why wouldn't they dare? Why did they have to dare? Yeah. Why was it risky? Mm. Because they didn't want to be ostracized. Yeah. Oh. Why? Because people make decisions. Like Gabby mentioned earlier, he says, you know, because we can see people and we can't see God, we tend to esteem people over God. Right. Yes. Right? Yes. Like. Like when people don't want to come to the church, then they don't get healed, healed for God. Yeah, for um, God. I, I love how you put that. You know, when people don't come to, remember, the church is God's, it, it's referred to as Christ's body. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, uh, and, and Jesus is called the great physician. Our, our responsibility is to bring healing to people. Mm -hmm. Right? Whether it is mental spiritual, even physical, as far as like being able to lay hands on the sick and they recover. Right. Right? But something happens. We saw we saw one person uh -huh. healed in the temple. Yes. We're seeing all of these people being healed when the church gets That's out of the out. building. Right. Yes. Now I thought um, they were saying that they didn't join and I was going back to verse 11, mm -hmm. where it says, So the great fear fell upon all the church and upon all who heard these things when Ananias and Sapphira had, you know, was killed. Yeah. So um, I figured that's the reason why people weren't coming anymore. So, so it, you know, it's, well, I mean, if, if you look at the response from the people in the city, and they said people in the cities are come from other cities are coming to them. That's showing that that, that what happened to Ananias and Sapphira is really validating that these boys are telling the truth, mm -hmm. right? What's happening inside the temple? Because we're going to read that coming up next. That's why I said this is, this sets that up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was very insightful. <laughs> um, but it also adds to a, a reverence for the apostles. That's right. right to the, that's, it's like they didn't get too close because they realized that they couldn't just treat them like they were common men. That's right. So they had such a reverence. And to your point, because of what happened there, they had a high reverence. But it said, but they weren't coming. They didn't dare. Why would they have to dare? Yeah. They didn't dare come to see them in the, the temple. But yet in the streets, mm -hmm. they're bringing them out. Why? Yeah. Because... They're, because the the community, the the the, the community, the, the Jewish community, I was like, okay, you going over there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what happens? 
the, the Jewish community, they control the, uh, the, the, the business community. Mm -hmm. Don't do business with that person. Right? Because they showed up over there. Yeah. Yeah. It does happen yeah. today. Mm -hmm. yeah. It does happen today. <laughs> um, and so then what happened? Now let's see what happens. We're going to try to read through this. Um, somebody take verse 17, 18 and 19. Then the high priest rose up, and all those who were, who were with him, which in the sect, which is the sect of the Sadducees, and they were filled with indignation, and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. But at night an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go, stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard that, they entered the temple early in the morning and taught. But the high priest and those with him came and called the council together with all the elders of the children of Israel and sent, uh, and sent to the prison to, the, to have them brought. Continue. Sure. But when the officers came and did not find them in the prison, they returned and reported, saying, Indeed, we found the prison shut securely, and the guards standing outside before the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. Now when the high priest, the captain of the temple, and the, pre the chief priest heard these things, they wondered what the outcome would be. So one came and told them, saying, Look, the men who whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain went with the officers and brought them without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should be stoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did we not strictly command you not to teach in this name? And look, you have filled Jerusalem, with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood on us. So again, they want to silence him talking about them talking about Jesus. Why do they want to silence? Because, uh, yes. Because maybe they don't like Jesus. That's exactly right. They don't like Jesus, right? <laughs> but one of the reasons they don't like Jesus is because Jesus messes with their bottom line. What do you mean? Amen. <laughs> when we say the bottom line, meaning, look, if the people, if the people hear about this new, this new teaching from God, uh -huh. right, that, that that takes the emphasis off of um, the the exterior, mm -hmm. and he says, listen, I would rather you be cleaned up on the inside mm -hmm. than all of this fancy attire on the outside uh -huh. because if you're cleaned up on the inside it'll change your your outside yes mm -hmm. right and so they're like hey listen this is messing with our numbers our people are not coming to the, to the synagogue no more they listening to them more than they listen to us mm -hmm. our money is going down mm -hmm. right and it's also because we talked about this a couple weeks ago it's also impactful because whoever was the leading voice uh-huh was the one that Pilate or the Roman governor, governor had put in charge. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if Christianity had become the new leading voice, then they would choose new leaders. Uh -huh. So then the bureaucracy yes. would be broken. Yes. And so that means their, it's not just their, their money, role. it's their role, their position, yes. their, 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 you know, all of that stuff would be shot. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right? Now... Um, but Peter and the other, I can't read. Look, my bi my tablet is just conked out on me, so somebody just... Verse 29. Yep. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you murdered by hanging on a tree. Him God has exalted to right hand to be prince and savior, to give rep uh, repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses to those things, and so also is the Holy Spirit, 
whom God has given to those who obey him. Amen. The Holy Spirit is given to those who obey him. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so understanding a, another fact about the Holy Spirit is that he only goes to those that follow after God's ways. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but he's bringing them, you know, the God of our fathers raised Jesus up. You murdered him. Mm -hmm. Now, is that very PC? Nope. No. Is that very politically correct? Not at all. Is that love in today's terms? <laughs> no. no, he's calling them out. Were the methods of the early church politically correct according to today's culture? No. no. So should we change based on today, today's culture? No. Mm -hmm. No. But that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. right. The church is bending mm -hmm. more than a, a limbo line. How low can you go? You don't know about that. Pick it up. I want to read something for you. I'm, I'm gonna stand because I want to. It says, "This is in Matthew's chapter 10. This is actually the New Living Translation." Um, it says, "Everyone, this is Jesus talking. He says, everyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven." But everyone who denies me here on earth, I will also deny before my Father in heaven. Listen to this part. Don't imagine that I came to bring peace to the earth. I came not to bring peace, but a sword. Ooh, Jesus. Mm. I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, mm. and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Wow. Your enemies will be in your own household. If you love your father or mother more than you love me, you are not worthy of being mine. Or if you love your son or daughter more than me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you refuse to take up your cross and follow me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for me, you will find it. Come on, Yes, yes. What, what comes to mind is God um, confounds the wise. Uh, I can't think he of takes it. the foolishness of this world yes, to, confound to confound the wise. The wise. Yes, and because it doesn't make you know uh, carnal sense. That's right. It doesn't make worldly sense. Worldly sense. How can you give up something yet gain it? That's right. How can I give my tithes, but the rest of my money be protected? Mm -hmm. Come on, teach. Right. You know, it, 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 it doesn't make <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make worldly sense. But if you try it, if you do it, mm -hmm. it will stand. Yes. Um, I usually think about what, like you know, like worldly sense and like heavenly sense. You know. Um, and I usually think, like, you know, when I usually think of that, I usually, um, what comes to mind is, like, God being, tr a, like, the Trinity, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and usually for me, sometimes we as humans at, in this stage in our lives are not going to understand, and sometimes we don't need to understand at this time, mm -hmm. you know? Because sometimes God is not required to give you an answer. Because right. you, you are his creation, and if he wants to give you an answer, he will give you an answer. But sometimes you are not, you are not, you are not, um, like there is, ready. No, yeah, you are not ready, or you mm -hmm. are not, like, special, yes. like, in that case where you need to be told why yes. this is, go is going yes. on. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes you are not going to understand why a bird, like, why... Mm -hmm. A lion might bite the the bait with his cub's ear. Mm -hmm. That's up to God for him to under to give you resources for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay. 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 These girls are on it. On it. Hold on. I, I'm, we're gonna let me questions because I want to get through the um, the rest of the verses. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, I'll come back to you if I if we have um, just an uh, uh, extra second. Okay. Because I want to finish the, the the chapter. Okay. Uh -huh. um, we only got a few chat verses left. 
Um, now they're talking about throwing these. They they re they retake the uh, the disciples, right, or the apostles at this point, right? And they're telling them, stop saying Jesus. Stop telling people we killed Jesus. Right. All right. Verse thirty-three. When they heard this, they were furious. Okay, we got that. <laughs> and plotted to kill them. Then one of the council stood up, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, held in respect by all the people, and commanded them to put the apostles aside outside for a little space or a little while. And he said to them, Men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what you intend to do regarding these men. For some time ago, Thutis rose up claiming to be somebody. A number of men, about 400, joined him. He was slain, he was killed. And all who obeyed him were scattered and came to nothing. After this man, Judas of Galilee rose up in the days of the census. This is not the same Judas who killed Jesus, right? right? And betrayed. he drew, or, or who betrayed, thank you, who betrayed Jesus, and drew away many people after him. He would also perish, and all who obeyed him were dispersed. And now I say to you, keep away from these men and let them alone. For if this plan, or of, if this plan, or this work is of men, it will come to nothing. But if it is of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest you even be found to fight against God. And they agreed with him. And when they had called for the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. So they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And in the daily, and daily in the temple, and in every house, they did not cease teaching and preaching Jesus as the Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. They didn't cease. They didn't stop. They didn't take breaks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They preached that Jesus was the Christ. Mm -hmm. Is the Christ. Yes. Is the Messiah, the chosen of God. You know, the reason why I brought that scripture up in Matthew, we need to understand that the gospel is, is the, the gospel message of Jesus Christ is, he refers to it as a stumbling block. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Meaning people are not going to like this message. Right. Correct. Because you're telling them, look, and he's telling, he's telling each of us in this room. Yes. yes. There's some things you ain't doing right that you need to clean up. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. This is not me pointing the finger because I'm pointing it and I got three coming back at me. I'm saying we all need, as we get closer to God, we need to become less like what we were. Right? Correct. Correct. More like him. More like him. We're not seeking to be like me. Oh, I'm this. I'm that. Right? No. Um, I'm a new creation in Christ. Mm -hmm. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Mm -hmm. Right? We have to, what is it? The re by a renewing of the mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Renew our minds daily. Right? So if I come into the gospel and I say, hey, I'm coming like I am and I'm staying this way. That would work. Listen, you can't even go on a job and say, oh, I want to do what I want to do. Right. You okay? Right. You can't even go into McDonald's and say, I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah, that's right. Burger King, they say, have it your way, but not the way you want to do it. You can't come behind that counter and begin flipping burgers and say, I'm going to cook my own burger. Nope. So you mean to tell me, even the streets got rules. Come on. Wow. Even the streets got rules. Uh-huh. And you think you can come into church and do it your way. Mm-hmm. Nope. No. I come... A mess. Mm -hmm. I come a mess. Mm -hmm. And he comes with a broom. Mm -hmm. And yes. a washcloth. Yes. And he begins to clean me up. Yes. Yep. He sure does. Just like the prodigal son. He came dirty, stinky. He smelled like pork on a hot summer day. <laughs> <laughs> and the dad grabbed him and embraced him just like that. Mm -hmm. That's yes, right. Was. Yes. But what did he do? He covered him. Yes. See, that's what that's what Christ does. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Christ is the cover. Yes. yes. He that covers. Grace. He uh -huh. puts the ring on his fingers. Mm -hmm. And he says, he says, listen, you're my son. Yes. 
He says, now, when I see you, I don't see your mess, I see royalty. Yes, yes. He puts his sandals on his feet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He yeah, said, you're not going to walk the way you used to walk. That's right. That's you're right. not going to leave the footprints from where your past came. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Wow. I'm, I'm covering you. And I'm, I'm covering because I don't want I don't want to track your past into your present and your future. Wow. 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 And that's what we're talking about. That's why we do what we do. Yes. To point people to Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. We come a wreck and yes. he comes with a hammer and nails. Mm. That's why he came Fix as a carpenter. Up. Think about that. Yes. Anything. He can he could have came as anything. He came as a carpenter. Yeah. He fixes houses. Wow. I'm a mess. And he says, I'm coming to flip that house. Mm, wow. Man, just let me stop. Praise God. <laughs> Let's go to 45. Minutes. Yes. Thank you, God. Lord God, we thank you for your goodness, grace, mercy, and truth. Lord God, we pray right now. Maybe there's someone watching, Lord God, that doesn't know you as their Lord and Savior. And I'm going to tell you, that is the most important thing that you, you have to do. More important than than. Whatever is going on in your life, if you don't do that, that is the most important. More important than a marriage, more important. It's more important than any decision you're ever going to make. Say, I need you, Jesus, to come into my heart. I need the good shepherd to begin to lead me. I need you. If that's you, say this with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I confess that I'm a sinner. I'm in need of a savior. Take me, make me new. Yes, God. Cover me, O oh Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name, I thank you, God. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and I believe that the Lord, that the Father rose you, Lord Jesus, from the grave after three days with all power in your hands. Make me new. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, listen, if you said it with your lips, you meant it in your heart, the Bible says you're saved. Yes, yes. God has just taken his robe and placed it over your shoulders. Yes. He's taken his ring, his signet ring, and put it on your hand. He's taken his sandals and put it on your feet. If that's you, your life is now new. Amen. Now the next step, you need to find yourself a Bible-believing yes. church. Yes. And you need to be planted like the church as supposed to act as a garden, right? And so God has put laborers around to tend to the garden. Yeah. And so, listen, if that's you and you are looking for a church home, we know there's plenty of churches out there, right? Um, but listen, we want to invite you to connect with us at Psalm 91 Ministries. Right? If you're in the building, hallelujah, amen, amen. Um, and or, however, you can contact us on the live. You can just text join and one of our leaders will reach out to you. If you said the prayer of salvation, you can text the word or type the word save. One of our leaders will reach out to you to talk about the, the next steps. Amen. Amen. And uh, we just want to give God glory, honor, and praise. Thank you Amen. for another Bible study. Yeah. time of, yes. of really breaking down the word. Amen. 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 Um, and we're going to thank everybody for joining the live. And uh, uh, listen, you know, <clears throat> we said that, that you know, you know, our we have a the, a great work ahead of us, the yes. great mission work ahead of us, okay. um, and it's going to take finances to make that happen. Listen, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. It's going to take finances. So listen, if you're if this ministry is a blessing unto you, I want to encourage you to sow. We got a couple different ways in which to give. For those that are in the building, we have the the basket at the front. You can make checks payable to Psalm 91 Ministries, Amen. Or if you use if you're digital, if you're watching via the live, you can use one of the links. The link's going to be dropped in the chat. Right, and uh, we use uh, Cash App. A cash tag is dollar sign Psalm ninety one Ministries, or there's a link to our website or PayPal. Um, you can give that way, and there's also be a link to the Zelle for those that want to give via Zelle. Amen. Amen. Um, and so we want to thank you all for tuning in. Um, we're gonna pray. Let's close out in a word of prayer. Uh, First Lady, would you mind just closing us out in a word of prayer? Amen. Amen. This this was a good teaching, um, Pastor and Minister. Faith. This is really good. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for the word. We thank you, Lord, for the teaching of your word. We ask God that you help us to hide it in our heart again, God, that we do not sin against you. 
Help us to grow in you according to your design. Not our truth, but your truth. Yes. The mm. truth. Yes, God. God, we ask that you continue to bless and keep us. Continue to grow us. Continue to prune us. Yes. Father, we love you. We praise you. We magnify you. Bless our houses. Bless those who are home. Bless us as we go our separate, separate ways to come together again in fellowship in lifting your name high, in Jesus' mighty and matchless name. Amen. 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 Well, thank you all for tuning in. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. See you Sunday. Sunday. Come on out. Come on, y'all. Get off the couch. Amen.